Surefire recipe techniques are proven and they will guarantee results in your kitchen. Look at this wild elk. Look at the color. Look at the texture. It is just incredible. I'm going to make you one of my favorites. Grilled wild elk burgers on a buttery country roll. What could be better than that? I'm going to start off by mixing our dry ingredients for our dough. That way it has lots of time to rest while we're preparing this beautiful wild elk. I'm going to start with the all-purpose flour. With seven cups of flour in our mixing bowl, I'm gonna add some whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour adds some great texture and flavor. Now, you'll see I'm mixing the dry ingredients separately. That way they fully incorporate. We're gonna do the same with our wet ingredients now. This mixture of honey, water, and yeast has sat for about 10 minutes now, and I mean, look at it. The head that's growing on that mixture is incredible, and this is why you separate your dry and wet ingredients, so that this can happen before it goes together. Now, I've got a cup of canola oil, and we're gonna mix these together now. I'm just gonna turn that on, and I leave it running for a minute. That way it makes a well in the center of the flour, and then we're just gonna start putting in our wet ingredients. After allowing all my ingredients to come together and that dough to knead for about five minutes, I'm gonna pull it out of the bowl. We're gonna pre-flour our surface, that way it doesn't stick to the surface. I'm using whole wheat once again for that texture. So look at this incredible dough, look at that texture. What we're gonna do is just fold this over, knead it a couple times before we set it to proof. Look at that. Now we're just gonna use a bowl in the bowl with a damp cloth over top. The dough is ready to proof now. We're gonna put it in the oven with the light on to create a perfect environment for it to rise. It's gonna go in for about an hour or until doubled in size. It's time to get started on our elk burgers. Now this meat is so incredible. All we're gonna add is a little bit of salt and pepper and just a little bit of fresh thyme. The toppings are what's gonna elevate this to the next level. We're gonna add some onions for sweetness and some tomato concasse, which is simply diced tomatoes for the acidity. Let's get started. Caramelizing onions brings out a beautiful sweet flavor. We're gonna start with some butter in the pan. Butter, followed by some olive oil. Circle that around. And then in go our onions. Finish with a little bit of salt. That salt is gonna dry out a lot of the moisture in those onions, allowing them to caramelize correctly. Look at this dough. I can tell already it's risen to well over twice its size. Look at this. Look at the texture of this and how spongy it is. I don't want to say I'm giving away a family recipe, but like, look at this. If you ever had results like this, it's time to divide this and get it in the oven. I've pre-seasoned these dishes with canola oil. We do this just so it doesn't stick. Just a little tiny bit. Wipe that around. And what I'm gonna do is, as I divide this, I'm gonna put it in the dishes, let it rise again, and then it's going right in the oven. Elk 
burgers are already tender because they've been ground. I've divided these into equal portions so that they cook at the same rate. I'm going to flatten them also to the same thickness for the same reason, so they cook evenly. You'll notice I haven't used any eggs or breadcrumbs. The proteins will naturally bind when cooked. I'm gonna keep this seasoning simple. Just a little bit of salt, some pepper, and some fresh thyme. That thyme is gonna bring out some beautiful herb flavors. Simple. I wanna taste this elk. I don't wanna hide any of the flavors, I wanna taste it. I put all that work into getting it, I don't wanna hide those flavors, I wanna taste it. A good cast iron grill pan will take some time to heat up, so I've preheated this pan and coated it with some olive oil. Let's get these burgers on. You can hear that sizzle immediately from preheating. That's what you want, otherwise your meat will begin to boil instead of sear. Country rolls could be used for anything. Look at what they've done with this elk burger. They've made it a mile high. On there we've got tomatoes, we've got sauteed onions, beets, pickles. You, I need to try it now. You're gonna have to check out the recipe for more details. Mm. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so good.